In this video, we'll write the equation for PBCO3 plus H2O. This is lead to carbonate plus water. First off, we'll put our solid lead to carbonate, put a little S here, in liquid water. And we want to know the equation. Lead, that's a metal. This carbonate ion, a group of nonmetals. So we have an ionic compound. And often ionic compounds, they are soluble in water. But we should check the solubility rules. So we'll look for lead or for the carbonate. We come down here, and here we see most carbonates are insoluble in water, with a few exceptions. Things like group 1 elements, sodium carbonate or potassium carbonate, they're soluble. And ammonium carbonate, that's soluble, but most carbonates are insoluble. So lead, lead carbonate or lead 2 carbonate here won't dissolve in water. It's insoluble. You put it in water, it stays a solid. So it just falls to the bottom of the beaker or the test tube. So there's really not an equation we can write for this. Except that when we say insoluble, a little bit dissolves, a very, very tiny amount. And we could write the equation just for that little bit that dissolves. So the carbonate ion, that's 2 minus the whole thing. Good one to remember. That means the lead, which is a transition metal, has to be 2 plus. So we would get this lead 2 ion, Pb2 plus, and we would get the carbonate ion, that CO3, 2 minus. And these are both dissolved in water, so we call them aqueous, dissolved in water. So that little bit that dissolves, this would be the equation for the PbCO3 plus H2O, just that tiny bit that dissolves. Sometimes you'll see the H2O above the arrow. It's another way to write this as well. And you'll even see water written on this side too. The thing is though, we've already written aqueous, which means dissolved in water. So I typically, I don't write H2O again. But this is the equation for PbCO3 plus H2O. Here we're showing the small bit that dissolves, but most of it, since it's an insoluble compound, won't dissolve in water. There won't be any equation. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.